Crypto Group is a new age focused wealth and asset management platform that aims to provide clients with investment solutions in a cost efficient manner. Their purpose is to solve large challenges currently unaddressed in the financial services space which if solved will make a transformational difference in the lives of many people and have a significant impact in the ecosystem that they operate in. With its presence in 30 cities in India, Neo Group has established itself as a leader in a very short span of time. Welcome to the special edition show of NDTV Profit Next Brand presents Brand Vision a symbol of excellence well today we are joined by two very dynamic personalities um, we are joined by Mr Nitin uh, Jain and Mr Hemant Daga both co-founders of Neo Group welcome to both of you thank you so much thank you so my first question will right. be to you Nitin um, give us an overview of what Neo Wealth and Asset Management is um, how has it uh, been since inception and how has the evolution been Right. First of all, thank you. Uh, like you rightly said, I think we are a new age wealth and asset management player. And uh, you know, sometimes I, I do feel that people get confused about what is wealth management and what is asset management. And maybe I'll take just a minute to explain that, at least the way we think about it. So, wealth management is basically your relationship managers advising you personally, specifically, uh, on your portfolio. about your objectives and you know mind you the only objective is not returns because it's possible that your kid wants to go and study in us so at the right time do you have liquidity available are you hedged against usd and so on so forth so you're you trying to build a very customized solution so think of him as a doctor who's giving you the advice and the asset management business is actually the manufacturing part of it so for example a mutual fund is a asset management but they do the fund manager really does not know who's the uh, end client that he is managing money for his only job is manage money and deliver good returns so the uh, advisor or the wealth manager is is like a doctor and this guy the asset management is like manufacturing so we run both the practices and we have seen a lot of uh, opportunities in terms of gaps that are there in this market for over a decade or so so we have tried to model ourselves uh, around those opportunities Uh, we are already managing around thirty-five thousand crore of assets in our wealth management business. Five yeah. thousand uh, crore, six thousand crores actually, right? In asset management, six hundred people, thirty uh, cities we are now present, uh, and luckily we've also onboarded great equity partners. So Peak Fifteen is the first institutional partner in the company, and uh, so it's been an amazing journey. Right. How do you think that uh, Neo Wealth and Asset Management is different from what the other companies are doing? I think the current wealth management industry is structured. Mm. If you think about it, right? I mean, uh, a lot of their economics is coming from the manufacturers of products rather than the uh, actual consumer of advice, right? Mm. So we thought that there might be an opportunity for us to actually sit on the side of the client mm. and actually not take money from the uh, manufacturer, but actually. take advisory fee from the client and create and genuinely represent the client and his best interest so effectively we have this proposition called as multi family office where we manage clients of upwards of 1000 crores of net worth mm-hmm. but there we, we are sitting next to them and we are buyers of service uh, from the other wealth and asset managers okay so we are not the sellers we are the buyers so that's a very fundamentally different approach to the business and i think there are very few people who are really attempting this as a strategy in the industry and the second uh, within the wealth management space what we are trying to what we have tried to solve for is uh, productivity you know there is genuinely shortfall of talent in this industry and if you ask me honestly i think there are not more than 300 relationship managers mm-hmm. at a industry level who can really service the client kind of clients that we are targeting right So your hiring pool is very very limited and these people have been in their uh, existing companies for a decade and we felt their pain. So we felt that there is an opportunity actually like we have become entrepreneurs why not give an opportunity to these people the best relationship managers in the country an opportunity to become an entrepreneur. So what we have done is we've created the platform. We've created the infrastructure. We give you advice, we give you products. we give you the brand we also give you transition capital so that for the first 2 years you don't you're not struggling to pay your bills etc and i i i thought actually we were not ready for this in india 
but I must, I must tell you, I, I've been positively surprised. In the last 18 months, I think we've onboarded 35 of the best wow. relationship managers in the country in this okay. practice. And I think they're doing awesomely well for themselves and for the world. And you know, uh, Nitin, just to add, they're working for the client for the long term, which is what all of wealth and asset management is about. We are actually very excited by the landscape in private markets as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think uh, India has been exposed only to more traditional investments, which is listed markets, right? right. And we at NEO see a big opportunity in the private market investing space. So whether it's private equity, which most people have heard mm -hmm. about, whether it's credit, private credit, and the third big opportunity on real assets. You can own assets which are generating cash flows and provide them to our clients. So we are excited by this space. We think this is a large structural opportunity which will last decades, you know. You can own roads, you can own solar plants, buildings, you can give credit to companies, you can take stakes in equities, in private companies. And that's a beautiful space that we want to play in this space. And fortunately, our clients understand it because they've been doing it for years. They've been running large firms. They are entrepreneurs themselves. They understand it. They've been making money this way. Right. And we are effectively trying to now do this in a more organized way for them. Right. What are the kind of growth levers and the trends that you're observing, you know, overall in the wealth management industry as a whole? And um, how do you as a Neo Wealth and Asset Management um, are planning to capture these? What is your strategy overall? So there are three things that I think are meaningfully driving this industry, okay? One, I think, uh, the amount of wealth that is getting created mm. is unbelievable, unprecedented. In fact, and it's just the beginning. You know, today as we stand, uh, we have around 10 lakh people in this country whose net worth is above 10 crores. 10 lakh people whose net worth is above 10 crores. Huh? But you know, in 12 years, and this is our analysis, I, I don't think the numbers in the market will uh, necessarily agree with what we think but we think and we have done a lot of work on this is in 2035 we will have one crore people with a net worth of greater than 10 crores interesting. okay one crore such people the second is I think and this is the most interesting part you know I feel that our clients are getting sophisticated at a speed higher than the industry if we are able to build very deep investment capabilities, hopefully we will be able to create value for our clients who are, don't forget, themselves very, very intelligent people. They're all people. So we have 1,200 clients. All of them have a net worth of greater than 100 crores. And the third is a very interesting one. It is that on the long only side, which is the public markets, right? I think there is not too many high quality fund managers and, and there's nothing to really discover. So we are seeing a lot of shift of allocations uh, in terms of people who are seeking alpha to the private markets. You know, I want to understand that how is the landscape of the um, asset management industry as a whole is changing and how do you plan to leverage that? I think the economic landscape is changing at a rapid pace. A lot of companies now want to remain private. A lot of equity value is getting created in private markets also. Okay. The government wants to sell assets, developers want to sell assets. A lot of that is, you know, falling on private markets rather than public markets. So our entire hypothesis at NEO is that this space, which is also called as alternatives, alternatives in private markets are very interchangeably used. But for us, they are exactly the same opportunity. And that is the space that we want to go after. We think uh, providing private capital has a much needed role in India's economic expansion. I think it provides capital where public markets typically don't provide capital. So where banks don't provide capital, asset managers provide capital. Okay. You know, where public markets will not give money to a young entrepreneur, private markets will give. And that is a purpose that we are serving for economic growth. At the same time, our clients like these strategies because they give diversification, they give better risk adjusted returns, they understand it better, right? It's fulfilling a client need, it's fulfilling a need for India's economic growth and we want to be at the forefront of this mega trend. Um, you know, could you also explain the focus and strategy for Neo Wealth Management at present and going forward, what will it look like? 
See, our strategy is driven by two very simple things. Firstly, are you solving a need of the client? There has to be a need which you solve. And secondly, when you're solving it, is it a large structural opportunity? It should be there for years and it should consume a lot of capital. Private credit, those are the two things that we are currently focused on. Private credit is a $100 billion opportunity. We're effectively giving companies capital for credit, which is either for growth, working capital, acquisition financing, special situations. We are actually owning assets. So we want to own assets, operating assets, you know, roads, transmission lines, solar parks. Very interesting statistic, globally, 40% of operating assets are owned by asset managers, pension funds on behalf of their clients. You know that number in India is just 5%. Just envision a world, there is an operating road which is throwing cash flows. You have the government of India as your counterparty and we want to package those cash flows in a very simple way and give it to our clients. Our clients will love it, we serve a great purpose and there is economic productivity getting added. So our focus is simple, see a client need and marry it with a large structural opportunity. Well, with this, we'll step into a short break, but do stay tuned for the further conversation with both these dynamic gentlemen. to this special edition of Next Brand presents Brand Vision, a symbol of excellence, where today we are joined by co-founders of NEO Group. I want to understand that how is NEO Wealth and Asset Management, um, its strategy to capture this growing market, first thing. And secondly, um, is there anything unique about, um, you know, the tier two, three, four cities that you've observed, like in terms of trends? And um, also, you know, we would love some insights as to which of these cities are doing better. Earlier, to be an entrepreneur, you really needed to be in a big city. Okay. And I, I think I've witnessed this change more so in the last five to 10 years, actually. I, I don't know what has changed fundamentally, but I think advent of private equity and venture capital, where they are going and trying to find these gems in these tier two, tier three cities, I think that has given a lot of confidence to people. If you are able to reach those places and support these ambitious entrepreneurs with the right kind of capital, right kind of governance, I think it can be just mind-boggling. So we, we witness this day in, day out. In fact, some of our largest checks and already uh, of the total assets that we're managing, I would say around 25 to 30% of it is coming from tier two, tier three cities. These people are running businesses at the heart of it. Also, one more trend that we truly witness is a lot of readiness to put money into financial assets. See, when you see that your business is earning 18-20% returns and you have an opportunity where you can make similar returns without being actively involved in And it, getting diversification. And getting diversification. Mm -hmm. Clients love it. What is it that you look in um, to leaders that you're hiring? What are those qualities that you look into um, those leaders when you're hiring them? So if you see our logo, it says new and it says do good. If you ask us what is the culture that we want to drive in our organization, it's actually very simple. Be good. If you really want to do good, just be good. So I think what we expect, and, and this is actually slightly easier to understand, right? If I said just be a good person. Yeah. And I think uska matlab kya be respectful to people. Yeah. You can be tough, you can be decisive. But whether it's your junior, it's your peer, it's your senior, it doesn't matter. Can you show respect? Uh, even a difficult conversation can happen, but you have to show respect. So that is fundamental to us. Think of the team before yourself. You know, we just want you to, if you, if you can't enjoy each other's success, this journey is going to be very tough. <laughs> There's Great. so many, uh, so I think for us that is the, Second, and put the client's interest first. You know, you should never forget why did we get together in the first place, right? I'm looking why is that? To make a positive difference in the lives of people that we touch. And if that is the objective with which you come in uh, to office every day and find ways and means of 
uh, creating value for others. I do think a lot of that comes back. So these are the two, three. Uh, Actually, you know, uh, Nidin, uh, I sometimes think culture is a very, is a concept we adopted from the Western world. Mm -hmm. When you look at your families, do you really ask what's the culture of your family? Right? True. This is our family. Our team, our clients, companies we are participating with, this is our family. We just need to be normal, good human beings. Be simple, be respectful, live a normal, good life. True. And that's the culture we want at NEO. Right. Don't overthink about it. Uh, the new asset management is currently investing in three different strategies, right? Um, do you plan to expand beyond those three strategies? I, I, I think there is always a question of strategy and focus. So from a long-term strategy perspective, there are three things that we truly want to do. Mm -hmm. Private equities, big opportunity. Private credit, large opportunity, which we are currently doing. Mm -hmm. And real assets, which itself is a giant opportunity. You know, yeah. In the short term, we are very focused on building what we call the Neo Alternative Yield Curve. See, what we are trying to do, just envision a world. A client comes to you, he says, I want regular income, you know, I have this time duration and I have a certain risk appetite. So effectively, across time and across risk buckets, we want to deliver regular income solutions to our clients through private credit, through real assets. So effectively today, what do we have? We have in the short end, you know, we have solutions which can deliver 12 to 13% over six, nine months, all providing regular income. Then in the medium term, if you want regular income, we have strategies which can deliver approximately 15 to 16% gross returns to clients through credit, delivering regular income again. And then in the long run, to meet a client need, we have strategies which can deliver approximately 18 to 20% gross returns with three to 4% quarterly coupons. But the core, one of the big learnings that we had, I think coupon and regular income is a need that we truly want to fulfill through our strategies at this point. In the medium term, the, the last piece, which is private equities, we think there are many shades of that. You know, There is late stage investing, there is pre-IPO investing, there is a huge point secondaries market with a lot of fund selling stakes and there is early stage investing right at some point we do want to start on some of those slivers of private equity but that's a more medium term objective for us um, you know it's the era of technology right so uh, you know i want to understand that how are you leveraging technology to um, enhance your services actually you know strange you know this is very fundamental to us yeah. So if you were to ask me what are the two core capabilities that will over a long period of time differentiate NEO, okay, fundamental capabilities, we talked about the model. I think one is core investing. You've got to be super good at investing. There is no choice. I think the second such event is this democratization of AI. I, I think so much power, so much ability is being now available to a normal individual that you can actually just change the world. If you do not capitalize on this, of course, when we started, we, we wanted to give great onboarding solutions, great reporting, great platform, transactions. But you know, ambitions have changed because of what is now possible. And I do think uh, for Neo to do well over the next uh, couple of decades or so, I think our early adoption of technology and creating and thinking of ways in which we can impact our clients' lives rather than thinking of technology as a solution, I think will be the key uh, driving force behind our growth. I think technology is also a culture. Yeah. Yeah. It starts with educating Us. ourselves, you know. Sometimes when you grow old, we are the impediments. So we need to educate ourselves first. In fact, right now as we speak, we have now an AI coach for both of us. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to understand that um, how do you envision NEO's role? Um, you know, it, it, uh, drawing a parallel to India's growth over the next decade. Most of our strategies you will see have very deep operating capabilities. So, we do that work where your returns are not made because of excess risk. Hmm. A lot of returns are made because of excess effort. Okay, which is like, so for example, let's think about uh, our infrastrategy. 
we do think that India needs massive investment in infrastructure. Yeah. And we have so much savings out here, right? So can we channelize these savings and help India build its infrastructure? Yeah. Okay, so we think we'll be a very major player in that space over the next 10, 15 years. Our other strategy, which is uh, the Special Credit Opportunities Fund, you know, one of the most exciting part of that is that we rescue companies. Think about it. Companies that are on the verge of dying, okay? Because good operating businesses, but the balance sheet was stretched or something goes wrong and just a little, we go there, pick them, hold their hands and take them out of. The number of jobs that you save in that journey is, is so satisfying. So we actually track internally when we take about how many jobs, how many lives are we impacting, okay? Uh, I think across our businesses. The third, I think, where we channelize our uh, client savings into uh, these opportunities like private equity and others, you're giving an opportunity to an entrepreneur, right? And we can't, we can only be a catalyst or an agent for change for this country. We, but there's so many bright young people. If you're able to just support them in some form, we think we are making our uh, contribution. Absolutely. Okay, well gentlemen, um, you know, I would like to say that, you know, your vision runs very parallel to what the vision of government is, that is Viksit Bharat, as well as, you know, the way the government is pushing Startup India. And, um, you know, a, a very interesting that I have observed is that, you know, it's it's not just bringing a parallel to what the government's vision is, but you're also um, building dreams for entrepreneurs who uh, need, who have ideas but need capital. So, thank you so much for taking our time and giving us those wonderful insights on what wealth asset management actually is and what you're doing and all the best for the way forward thank you so much thank you so much Mary. thanks a lot our pleasure